Hey Alicia, how's the new pattern analysis coming along? Vargas at Alpha Lab is filling my inbox with threats. Not that that's anything new, but just let me know if you need another assistant down there. Thanks, Chris. Ooh, it's from you. Thanks, Chris, but we have enough people down here already. Still have no idea what this stuff is. Would help if they would tell us where it came from. You know, Alicia, patience and perseverance surmount every difficulty. <laughs> is that like when people have like a sign, uh, a signature at the bottom of their emails? <laughs> yeah, except this is a quote from her. Hi, Dr. Stone. This is Chris Fontaine from Gamma Base. Can I get clearance to disclose the sample slash pattern source to my research assistants? Would speed things up and help get Vargas off my behind, if you'll pardon my sincerity. Thanks. <laughs> pardon the French sincerity. <laughs> Chris, the recon team is back and already checked in with sample storage. I'm going to have a chat with the hangar jockeys. They sent us out with half the fuel we needed. The vessel died part way back and we had to manually prime it just to get it running again. The crew were safe, but it was a needless risk. Just a heads up, Omar. Hi, Alicia. I sent a message over to Stone at home base, but communication over that distance has been spotty at best since the event. Dun dun dun. The comm relay might still have Stone's response on their server, but that's a long trip. I'm afraid my hands are tied this time. Keep me posted, I will delay Vargas as long as possible. <coughs> comm relay. 4800 meters. What time's it? About 5.10. You gotta leave in 20. Now I need to, like, start getting ready in half an hour. <laughs> oh. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. Boop. 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 Beep. Boop. Boop. Man, this V-Sync is awful. <laughs> Man, something's, uh, hurting. Yeah, that was the ion vortex. It drains your power. Great. It's, uh, it's nice. Lovely. Just, uh, dig a little. See ya. ba ba da ba ba -bo. So speaking of the job fair, I thought... Like, in my mind, I was thinking, oh, you know, well, I'll talk to someone, and if they have, you know, an available job, then we can talk more in depth on, you know, actually getting hired or whatever. But, like, every single person there was like, oh, yeah, we have a job. Go on, go to our website and apply. <laughs> <laughs> like, now go away. <laughs> like, why is everyone just going to direct me to their website? Well, there, that makes... It makes it so there's no point in physically being there. You know, I got all dressed up in a suit and tie. I have my resume in my hand. They even told you, you know, bring print out 30 copies of your resume <laughs> to bring to this place. And everyone's like, go to our website. <laughs> like, you can you can have a pen. We have free pens. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know if I'll ever go to a job fair again because it was pretty useless. Ooh, an ion vortex. Kind of reminds me of when I went to like a uh, employment service locally. They pretty much like sat me down in front of a computer and said, "You know, here's the here's the bookmark list with all of the the job websites. <laughs> <laughs> Knock yourself out. <laughs> I, I can do this at home. I have a computer and the internet." Well, then I don't know why you're here. Shrike <laughs> <laughs> bucket. Ooh, <laughs> one killed the other. Prime the pump. Not very effective. Here, like trying to stir it up. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, you're only 394 or 294 meters away. <laughs> or three, I can't tell. Yeah, I was trying to make it. <coughs> okay. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> you seen that, that video, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody, I think it was on Reddit, somebody posted it and said it's been like 10 years since that was first posted. Australia, Australia is like WTF, mate. Did that increase or decrease anything? Probably not. I bet you if you uh, cracked open a crate with like one of the uh, drones, it might give you some. Station. Ooh, I think you can dock at the way station and get refilled. Beep, beep, yeah. beep. <laughs> I just ate the way station. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a simplistic representation of what really happened. Probably a space monster or something with <laughs> a twist at the end. <laughs> uh, it was me all along. <laughs> Darn you, all to heck. <laughs> you blew it up. Have you beaten this game? Yes. So you know how it ends. It's been a while. Whoa! <laughs> that hurt. I need the ion vent! Thanks, Shrike. Wait, what's he doing? He literally just stopped. I saw your power go up a little bit. Uh, why can't I move? I don't know, it's just something in the background moving. Just a bit of Kahlua on the screen. <laughs> just, just hold your breath. <laughs> Weren't you playing games with your friends last night? Oh yeah. So that doesn't count against your your anti-technology months. Oh. So yeah. It's a requirement. A, a freebie. Can't we socialize without video games. <laughs> That's the way it works in the modern world. That's like uh, someone who has a gambling problem playing poker with his friends. So it's it's okay to do it with friends. Oh yeah. More like it has to be okay. And is it uh, Warframe that you're playing these days? Mm-hmm. It's like a free-to-play MMO. Is that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please. I have it. Uh. Ooh, lots of iron vents. But careful of the iron vortex. Or that. Not so much of an MMO though. No? Spend most of your time alone in your ship. Hmm. But it is, like, the idea is to do it multiplayer, right? Mm hmm. And so it's, it's basically you're going on missions, which is like going through dungeons in, in like World of Warcraft or something. Sure. And do you, uh, ooh. Do you uh, level up and get equipment and all the usual stuff? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, of course. Way station. Bleep. Okay. Now we're on top of the world again. Mm -hmm. And nothing can touch us. I'm on top of the world again. Down on creation. The only explanation I can find. I just gotta make a beeline to the end. How's the rest of that go? There's the love that I found ever since you've been around. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting on the top of the world. You're spinning out of control. <laughs> I was just getting into the music, bro. <laughs> what does it say? Sorry for the delays, Dr. Fontaine. These disturbances seem to be affecting communications at any rate. Someone at Tau Base has locked down most of the files relating to the anomaly. I can get these files, but only as a last resort. For now, all you can say officially is that we got a distress signal uh, and collected some material samples from the site stone. Just wanted to let you know that everything is fine here, smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what they're reporting back there, but we have had some... Strange things happen. It's very exciting, but, well, not a big deal. Just wanted you to know that I love you and little Christine very much. Her dad misses her. Big time, Chris. Hmm. Emergency. SOS. This is not a drill. Vessel in distress. Lives at risk. Send help. Coordinates attached. Looking forward to hearing from you, boss. <laughs> That's from the IT crowd. <laughs> We going to Tau Base or we going to the distress area? Looks like, looks like we were going to the distress signal next. It's like 6,000 meters away. <laughs> that's like 6 kilometers in metric. Yeah, that's like <laughs> miles away. <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard it is to travel miles in space with nothing there? You know, it seems to me like without any kind of gravitational influence you should be able to just get up to speed and then shut off the engines and coast. Yeah. That's kind of how space travel works. That would make sense. But no, you have to waste fuel 100% <laughs> of the time. Well, the game mechanics demand it. I guess. wonder what that is. <laughs> Never mind me. So am I smelling syrup? Mm-hmm. There's a great uh, part on one episode of 30 Rock where uh, Liz is smelling waffles or syrup. And she's like, who's cooking waffles? Somebody on the floor is like cooking waffles. And then like uh, Tracy calls her up and he's like, Liz Lemon, I smell waffles. She's like, what? You're, you live in New Jersey. How can you be smelling the same thing as me? And then uh, Jack calls her up and he's like, are you, do you smell waffles? <laughs> She's like, yeah, what is that? He's like, it could be one of two things. Either uh, a wind is bringing over the... is is coming over, like, the smell factory or, or whatever it is. Or the ar artificial smell factory, I think, is what he called it. and uh, Or it could be Northrax, which is a, a biological weapon that smells like syrup. <laughs> He's like, we, we, if it's that, we only have ten seconds to live. <laughs> So they both pause for like a few seconds, <laughs> and they're like, "Okay, I guess it's I guess it's nothing." <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff here. I'm just trying to get some air pockets, people. Air pockets. <laughs> Hope this is some stuff. <laughs> I think that was actually an iron vent. I think you did. Yeah, pass over one. Now you're out, right? I can always... Yeah, there's one ahead. I it. <gasps> got it. I figured it out. But no. <laughs> I was like, why are you not going towards the island? But... There's more important things at stake here. <laughs> this ion vent. 
run out of oxygen. <laughs> Please. Oh. oh, I shrike. Of course. Well, so it goes. <laughs> You know, it'd be really creepy is if you occasionally passed by a capsule with a dead person inside. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do you have employment plans or employment hopes in the near future? Somewhat. Like, do you have an idea of what you want to be doing? In the distant future? Um, uh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> so many. Um, targets. Mm. Mm. Don't be another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not going to work out very well. Well, it'd be cool to do music. Just by yourself or in a band? Yes. <laughs> yes and yes. I wonder if it would be easier to uh, make it as a musician or make it as an author. <laughs> like statistically, one of them's got to be a little more likely. Hmm. Interesting question. Is that your plan? You want to be an author? Uh, that's the dream, but the plan is to just get a regular job as a writer. Oh. Like technical writing or editing or something. Oh, that sounds lines. like a lot of fun. I like mundane tasks. <laughs> On occasion. Uh, well, seem to be uh, hitting some problems oh, here. Good. <laughs> good. Live another day. Fortune smiles for now. There should be a prey option. <laughs> Seek a boon. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Ethereum. Ion vents. Air pocket. Nitro. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Stupid drones. Stupid shrikes. <laughs> Gosh darn. Okay, well that's real helpful. What's that? That he just dropped. Aha. Sweet. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Fuel cell. Right under our nose. Maybe I'll drift into it. You are drifting Drift a little bit. <laughs> Ready for this. Nice. <laughs> what are you doing? Because it was primed. Okay. <laughs> now we gotta get out of here. Well, we still have three miles to go. Three uh, kilometers to go. There's so little time left. They should just litter the entire space with air pockets and ion vents. <laughs> if only. Jeez, game developers. <laughs> if I wanted to suffocate in space, I'll join the, the uh, Space One program or whatever it is. <laughs> What's the name of the people from Starship Troopers? <laughs> I'd join the Starship Troopers. <laughs> if I wanted to die alone in space, I'd join NASA. <laughs> Burn. Have you seen uh, The Martian? Um, nope. That's a good movie. 
Now, there is one scene where you see a guy's butt, and it's supposed to be. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> it's supposed to be Brad Brad Pitt, like his character's butt. Mm-hmm. But uh, so clearly not Brad. Well, here's the thing: <laughs> like he starts off the movie like regular size Brad Pitt, but then as time goes on and he's rationing food significantly, he becomes very emaciated. And so uh, there's a scene where he steps out of the shower and you, and you see, see how you know thin and sickly looking he's become. And he has a towel like over his head, like he's drying his hair. Mm-hmm. So you can't actually see his face, but you see his butt. And uh, I'm pretty sure it was some other person. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have punch it. <laughs> <sighs> just one more kilometer to go. <laughs> mm. this thing. Bit. <laughs> oh. ah, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's mine is yours. Oh, that's a drone. Wouldn't that be fun? Come on! <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Stop with the oxygen. <laughs> Where were we headed again? Some sort of SOS? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure we're the right person for the job. We're in like a one-man vessel. And we don't even have enough fuel to get where we're going without picking up more along the way. Do you think it's more fuel efficient to not travel at maximum speed? I bet you it is. Seems like they would do that kind of thing. And the trade-off is that you use the same amount of oxygen and so you know if you if you go fast then you use more fuel, but if you go slow then you might run out of oxygen faster. <laughs> I just wanted to know. Okay. Air. Delicious air. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm. Perfect timing. It's almost like they want me to succeed. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, cheap shot. Mm. (laughs) Where are you going? Why doesn't he run into the nitrox? <laughs> Tonk. Oh, that's great. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks for believing in me. <laughs> oh, an ion vortex. Sweet. It's a veritable smorgasbord of air and fuel. All you gotta do is endure the vortex. Do the vortex. (laughs) It's a hip new craze, the vortex. 
Hello, space whales. <laughs> okay. I wonder if the space whales eat the space lichen. <laughs> you guys are not friendly. And space bulls. <laughs> space bulls. <laughs> When you're living in a bubble and you haven't got a care Space balls <sighs> If I get the eye on Vento, <laughs> we'll be able to survive Yeah It was a good run How about we end it there for now? Maybe next time we'll succeed, but for now, we're dead in space. See ya.